Good morning, everybody. Good slow morning for me. Yeah, slow morning. Trying to get going here. Melinda, you see, see all that light shine on my face? Let me show you why. Yeah, we are cutting some lengths of this insulation to go up on the roof. Okay, so my, what you do with this piece is roll it up, roll it up now. So each time we have a bundle ready to, to use, roll that one up, cut another one, roll it up. Man, you could probably cut, they're going to be the same length on the other side. You could probably cut, well, no, just... Just cut about four pieces right now. We brought some white metal up up here and we're preparing to do this roof up here. Yeah, and so I wanna do it systematically like pre-cutting our insulation, having it ready to put down here. Give me that, I'll set it down here so it don't unroll. So we're gonna do all this systematically. So I wanna have my pieces pre-cut uh, I want to ask them to lay it right on top of that sheet that it's actually going to be going under. And that way they can get a nice straight edge. I don't want all these jagged edges and it's either wasted material and it's way out too long or it's um, at an angle and part of it's not going to fit and all that. Just do a clean job. So I got them a razor blade there, one of those little utility knives, and they're going to get it all cut. And we're going to do this step by step and I'm gonna do it just the same as we did it back in the good old USA back in Texas this is a roll of double back tape it's clear and you peel the backing off of it it's clear and what you do is that outer edge purlin right out there furthest out on the edge of the roof you stick this tape down and you leave the white part on there and you stick the sticky part down then when you roll out your insulation and you, you got it there and you're holding it in place you reach under you peel that white paper off of it and you stick that insulation down with this double back tape and that way you got it all right in place the way you want it and uh you don't have to do it up on your other end at your top end is what you do is you'll get your sheet down over that then and you can stretch that insulation up there at the top get all the wrinkles out of it pull it in place screw your sheet down and it's locked in place so uh, double back tape that's the best way instead of all that uh, flapping in the wind and having to have 10 GM people try to hold it and leave extra hanging out that you gotta to try to come back underneath there and cut and you scratch the finish on your metal on the underside, which will rust. So, got that. Got my new screw gun uh, that came in a few days ago. And uh, what else? Oh, and we'll show, got the butyl tape. And that tape's also gonna be very, very important. It's upstairs and that's gonna lap in between the sheets for a nice professional seal on it. Boy, I could really talk about what they did next door on this little house they're building. I mean, even my wife noticed it, Joel, everybody. I noticed it, but I just kept my mouth shut. But boy, they all brought it up too. Man, that's gonna be the leakiest roof you ever seen. Mm-mm-mm. You know why we're up here showing this and recording right now and talking about putting roofs on. 
Many of you thought this is a roof, like that's the metal, like that white metal is that's going up on the house. But this is a concrete steel deck. It's for pouring cement over, pouring concrete over a concrete slab. And instead of having to build forms underneath and all that like we did on this house to have nice smooth ceilings inside, instead, uh, you put this steel deck down and that is your support, it gives it strength. Um, the corrugation and slab allows you to pour less concrete and it still be strong. So that's what this is. This is not just a roof for the boat. This is because there's gonna be a slab up here and a little pavilion like. I wanna talk about this joint right here where this overlaps. There is a tool, it's called a seamer or crimper that you can put on there and it'll go down through there. They got an automated one that'll go right down through there and roll down that and it'll crimp that. So like on um, roofs on some houses and commercial buildings, they'll put a metal called standing seam that will be tall right here like this. And same thing, you get it, that all lined up perfect. You put that tool on there and it goes right down it and rolls a crimp down on that and seals that. So you can manually crimp it too. There's, you can make yourself a tool or different ways you can do it. And you can go down there and do a manual crimp and you want to lock those sheets together because out here, this will sag down on this side when you especially get a lot of concrete on it and you'll have a blowout underneath right there. In fact, I can tell it needs to be pushed up and locked right there right now. So that's the dealio on that. And probably for a little bit of earthquake proofing before we pour concrete, I'm probably going to drill holes in through this and i know it sounds crazy but i'm gonna put bolts with washers and nuts and now the reason being these if there was an earthquake they can just shear they'll shear right off all right and uh then this thing's just floating up here on top but if i can put a bolt and not make it fit super tight leave some room around it and washers it can work around then and it would take more to shear it more strength and it would make it a little bit more earthquake proof like say oversize your hole when you put the bolt in there and put a flat washer top and bottom so that's what i'm going to do it's a little bit of work but that's all for that what if so i've got him there now putting that tape on and we're not going to put too much tape at one time we're going to do enough to put two rows of foam insulation and uh two sheets of metal on So we're gonna pull the sheet up up here. Go ahead, put your put your clamp so we can pull it up. Make sure it's good and tight. Can you throw that up here to me? So I let them off on this first sheet up here. I got up there and <laughs> handled it myself with them, them helping. And uh, we got our foam secured with tape at the end. They were up there, held the foam tight up at the top. And you wanna make sure your purlin's clean so your tape really sticks good. And then we slid a sheet through up here and we walk the sheet across over onto it. You don't want to drag it because it'll snag on your foam, rip your foam. You kind of lift it and set it over. That first sheet's so tricky because that fall is something else. And there is a light breeze right now. So uh, I'm the one that was up there on top. And I'm the one that put all the first screws in. And, uh, and with all their support and help all the way around me. And now we're going to do it again. So... We're gonna do foam again. Actually, we want foam right now. Yeah, just do it the same thing again. Through that gap. Here, I'll come over there and help you again. All right, well, 
I say I set a tripod up. I might be able to put one right up there where you guys can see us work and listen to us yell at each other. <laughs> it's construction site. That's the way it goes sometimes. Uh, but nonetheless, we have got a really good start right here. We got the first two runs on. We got the foam overlapped about an inch and a half. Sometimes they'll just butt it side by side, and that's where you get those open places down through there. So it's overlapped about an inch and a half. It all is looking really good. I like it. Um, we've got enough screws to hold the sheets, not be dangerous right now. Uh, we're leaving the bottom run out because they're going to be doing gutter work there later. And the people that I'm going to pay them to do the gutter work because they're used to forming this Spanish style gutter. But they wanted me to put the sheets on and then they put the gutter on afterwards so they can slide that underneath there as they need and adjust for corners and things. So I get that. Uh, there's a two inch overhang off the end of the purlin as they request it for their style gutter. So uh, that white paper you see, that's for that double back tape. Well, we're taping that down. Man, that tape's working absolutely wonderful too. I'm wore out. Of course, they don't know how I want it. I know how I want it. So I'm having to be the one to get up there and get all this started and kind of give them a lead on. One thing too, I don't want a bunch of frivolous holes ran in my roof sheets and stuff too. So, so far, I'm the only one screwing that. I know exactly how I want screws placed and uh, where I want them placed. And I'm used to using these particular tools, so I'm very efficient with it. Uh, it wouldn't bother me enough if I ran the whole roof. It's a good start. I'm happy. Look here, man. I'm standing in shade under my roof. First two sheets on of many, but it'll go pretty fast. Uh, it's nothing but happiness for me to see this happen. backup battery here on hand now when you're doing jobs up here like this and you got a piece of metal that could fly loose in this breeze and you need to get it fastened down and then a battery dies on you uh, you need to make sure you got another one sitting there ready to get exchanged in there and continue for safety just a tip okay just a tip I'm not trying to micromanage your lives but some people get themselves in a compromising situation, realize they don't have another battery charged or don't have it handy, and you're maybe trying to hold a sheet into the wind, you know. And uh, we're up here pretty high, so it's important to think in advance. So there's our insulation. It's overlapped about an inch and a half down through there. And I'll show you what I've done here so far. You can get a side of the roof. We did not put the butyl tape between these first sheets yet. For one thing, they don't have no experience working with it. I left the sheets loose where it could be rolled back and put in there after the fact. Plus, we're trying to get these first ones here to work with. So, as I teach them what to do, you would want to put your butyl tape on here right now once again you leave the paper on it just like you do on the double back tape you get your sheet on there you peel that stick it down but if they don't know what they're doing and they let it stick to that tape too soon then it's hard to reposition your sheet and everything because it will bond them together so i'm gonna go a different route with them right now being inexperienced and that's we'll leave the side of the sheet loose and a couple guys hold it up while they put the tape and put it down and that'll work also. We'll show that later. They're getting ready to drag a sheet up here and I'm gonna get down out of the way. Now you gotta go right to the edge, lift straight up on it. Go right to the edge. Yeah, now lift straight up. There you go. 
we're having to slide it between these rafters not out over the end it's too hard out over the end there so we're sliding it up between some rafters sliding it up and back down hey we need another person up there because nardo has a hard time by himself And I'm gonna have to stop because I see now that ladder should have been over and ready to clamp that sheet. There you go. You got up, up, up. Don't push up, Marvin. Don't push, push up. Pull down, Marvin. Pull down. You don't want to slide it on that black metal up there. Ah. Uh. There you go. There you go. I'm going to get this ladder on the other side. And everybody's got kites flying. Let's see. There's one there. It's not a UFO, okay? It's don't don't launch an investigation here <laughs> and then there's I don't know if I can get them or not man there's like five more in the distance we'll get them later Perfecto. Let me get my, get my ladder over here. Give me that screw gun and those screws right there. No, all those screws, not one screw. <laughs> got it? Alright, got a couple of tack screws in it. Now I'm going to go up there where those guys are at. Play that funky music, white boy. All right. All right, so here we are. So what we got to do is we need to get, we don't need that. Keep that out of the sun. It'll get all too sticky. There's a trick to putting this. We're gonna put this tape down between this sheet right here. It goes right here on this top edge, flat, okay? And, and now, listen, you're gonna put it on there nice and flat in the middle. Don't get it over here or over here because then it won't pull down straight. Right in the middle. And you hold this roll like this, okay? You hold it in your hand like this. You put this front edge in one hand, yeah, and and don't let it all lay in the sun and get hot. And the reason I'm telling that is so the viewers can hear also. And you want to work, you want to work in long strips. Let me see that. Keep that one finger down. Keep over there, okay? Up, up, now, now look. Listen to me. Put that. Keep that finger on there, and then you keep your other hand over here. Now you look at me. And you pull, now listen to me, don't, don't react, just watch. Put that finger over there on that, and you roll some out, and you stop. Now you take that finger and rub, and you roll some out, and you stop, and then you rub, and you continue like that. Don't try to do all that other stuff. And don't ever pull the paper yet.
and watch out you'll see the egg of the turtle And keep it back, keep it back about an inch from the end. Stay back about an inch, inch and a half, because it'll melt, and you don't want it all dripping out the end. Just tear it, just just tear it. No need to cut, just tear. No need to cut, just tear. Just tear. Ah, uh, now smash that down really good, and then peel that paper right there. Look. Now peel that paper. Uh oh. And we only go one way. The paper don't, 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 don't. Yeah. Yeah. Now lean it back, just like you're doing. It's perfect. You don't want to pull up like this. You'll pull the tape loose. Hold on, I'm doing it. You want to, you want to pull it back like this, okay? If you pull up, I'm just teaching here for the viewers. Same time. If you pull up, sometimes if the tape is really stuck to the paper, it'll pull it all loose. So if you pull back it, don't pull it loose. So there you go, just like that. Beautiful. Let me see that paper when you're done. So don't don't do this what I'm gonna show you. I'll get mad. But on those commercial buildings all the time, the guys working in the US, when they get this, they stick it inside right here and close the roof. <laughs> Throw the trash right there. Let me tell you something else. You see this paper and this tape? We were in Louisiana working by the water and Cap Sons, they took this paper with the tape on there with a ball of tape and they're sticking it in the water and the crabs grab it and we yank the crabs out. And we were catching crabs with this paper the crabs really liked it for some reason, man. They kept wanting to grab the paper and the tape. So we used it for fishing. <laughs> All right, let it down. And then press it. Yeah. And now, when that gets hot, you can't pull it back apart. It's stuck like a glue. Here, throw this down over there. All right, and now I can go through here. Screw it. Y'all do the next one, and I'll start putting screws here, okay? All right. You need another roll. You, somebody needs to go get you another roll. It's not enough. You need an extra one. Somebody get another roll down there. But don't ever leave that stuff in the sun because it get really uh, soft and gooey and stringy. So you want to kind of keep it cool until you're ready to put it on. Yeah, or it's or it's harder to use. If that gets hot, it's so hard to use it. All right, well, I'm going to start putting screws. Some, somebody get me a, a bag of screws up here, and I'm going to start screwing. Bring the whole bag, this down there. All right, Tox, come over here and hold that sheet back. There you go, just like that. Keep one hand down on it and do a long stretch. You're doing it perfect. There you go. A little one-handed camera operation here so I'm gonna go right in the purlin right next to that hump beautiful and I'll just continue on doing that uh, very excited about doing this 
this roof up here man really excited i'm up here running all these screws in right now this will be very very strong that that roof right there i bet it has no more than 70 80 screws holding the whole entire roof on right now and all screwed in the wrong position and that metal cannot be on a low grade slope like that because each one of those breaks on that metal humps back up in front of it like an inch and a half so on the upside of every one of those little tile looking places when it rains is holding water and then it terminated out on the last purlin down there it terminated out sitting on the high part fold in the metal and it kicked the end of the roof up so the whole end down there that whole end let me back this camera up that whole end right there like where you see that show on all is flared up and when it's raining it pulls water up in there uh, let me show you something else if i can zoom up on this screw let me find it there with my eyes okay it's right there yeah right in the center of your screen there we go now i'm getting it you see you put that screw up in that hump look how it weld in that sheet all the way around that screw right there and now the water is going to set around that screw all the time it can't drain away because that metal is not made for that lower grade too plus he screwed it in the wrong spot and so it's going to hold water around that screw from now on the salty air is going to rust that screw and you know how it's going to go from there Been up here putting screws on this roof. Uh, the bottom run down there, the outside. I've also left it out. I got maybe about 20 more screws I need to shoot in up here. I come down, take a little break, and enjoy the sunshine and the view. A lot of big waves out there right now. Not huge waves, but there is a rolling surf going on there right now. Winds are blowing pretty good. These are laps. Let me get a regular screw here for you. It's a regular tech. Lay this here. So this is a regular tech for shooting the metal down. And this is a lap. And you see a lap's got a small drill point on the end. It's smaller. You see them right there. And then the, the screw the threads start out small right here and they get fatter as they go up get bigger as for lapping two pieces of the sheet metal together and it'll swell out into that metal so it'll drill a small hole pull itself in and then it spanned out into that hole locking it all together and another tip you can have these and say if you made a mistake and you you missed the purlin which you shouldn't if you made a mistake and you missed right there and didn't hit your purlin and now you got a hole um, you can come and and lightly shoot 
a lap into that because it'll expand into that hole and pull down top of the washer and then move over a safe distance so you don't hit the heads into each other and put in your tech screw right there. Uh, you're getting them. So Joel's putting steel up right here. And glass blocks are going to be in between them. And then this is going to support a shelf up here high. And then from there, I think we're going to put those little jewel style uh, windows. Jealousy, not jewel, jealousy style windows. And that's just for sake of privacy and blocking wind when this monsoon comes in where we can still cook and 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 do things out here because the winds will blow the flame and the water blowing in so nice to see that roof going on that is so cool very very cool So it's almost end of the day and we're here and out outside. See there's a muse there, a model of the barbecue, chicken barbecue. Wow! <laughs> so the twins is here as you see it. They're here right now. So this is the chicken that we already sit here. So today we're gonna do the chicken barbecue. Homegrown chicken barbecue. I said that's homegrown chicken barbecue, right? Yes, and that banana also. It is, do you know it is good to grill that one there also and, and put the butter? Yeah. Mr. Margarin, yeah. Mr. Margarin and yes. sugar. Yeah, let's grill that one. May I, know, uh, I have stick there. Uh, huh? The right one? barbecue? Yes. Uh, put, put, uh, put, I mean, you're going to grill that one and put some butter. Chicken, chicken, chicken. Mmm. Ooh. Smoke pa lang. Ulam na. So next door there, I've been uh, doing that one before. Before I married James, i doing that uh, small business like that. Like something you can earn a little bit of money. So we we do like that, you know, like uh, the banana, and then put on the stick, and then uh, cook in the charcoal, and then after it cook, it varnish the butter or margarine, and that's it. It's really tastes good. Thank you, everyone. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Bye. See you to our next video.